today's video will be my October TBR. So if you guys want to know what I will be reading in October, just keep watching. This year has not been a really good reading year for me. Um, I've been in a bad reading slump since the beginning of the year. Since the beginning of the year, I have only read about 10 books, maybe a little bit more. But I have not been reading a lot. And um, I want to get back into reading. So hopefully if, after doing this video, it will kind of like get me back into reading. Um, back into reading because I do miss reading. So yeah, um, okay, let's get on to my first book. Um, the first book I'm currently reading is, let me get my Kindle. So the first book I plan on reading and I have already started is um, Last Will and Testament by Delia Audler. Last Will and Testament is about a girl who, who is about a college party girl who loves to party, who loves to drink, who loves to smoke, who loves um, sex and all that stuff and then one day she finds out one night she finds out that her parents died and then she has to um she has gained custody or she has gained custody of her two younger brothers and um in order to in order to take to, in order for her to be able to take care of her young brother her younger brothers not have them been sent not have them be sent to a, long, a foster care she has to like pick up her grades and prove that she could take care of them. The only person she could turn to is her TA, which she does who she does not like. And then through him helping her and all that stuff, she they eventually, you know, fall in love. So <laughs> that's basically the storyline of it. I'm halfway through so far, so good. It's a new adult so I'm very picky about my new adults books just because of how it's written and like the the topic that they talk about and all that stuff. So, to have a new adult that catches my interest, it's good. To have a new adult that um, keeps me reading, it's a good sign. But at the same time, I've, I'm halfway through it and I've see, I see those signs and I'm like, I just roll my eyes at them and all that stuff. So, I'll go more in-depth once I'm done reading and um, when I do a, video, a book review for this book. The second book I plan on reading this month is This Girl's... This girl isn't shy. She's spectacular by Nina Beck. Um, this is the second book too. This book is not fat. It's fabulous. <laughs> so this book follows Samantha, who we meet, and this book isn't fat. It's fabulous. Um, and she's she was Riley's, she was Riley's best friend. No, she was Riley's roommate. And this book is not fat. It's fabulous. And then she wants to like re reinvent herself, so she goes to Riley to form, so Riley can help her out and like help her change because she doesn't want to be stuck. She doesn't want to be in the background anymore. She wants to be like um, out there, active, like half friends and all that stuff. So then she goes to Riley. They help out, and then she meets Riley's best friend. If you guys have read the book, you guys know the first book. Riley and her best, his, Riley and her best friend had a little um, miscommunication and all that stuff. But then like it's all good by the end of the book. And so and then Riley meet and, and then Samantha meets Riley's best friend, and they hit it off. And that's as far as I know about the book. I haven't started it yet. It's a really short book. It's about um like you can see how you can see how short it is. This is my thumb. So yeah. You know, it's it's a really short book, so I'm I'm hoping to fly through that really quickly. And then the second book I plan on reading is um L O L or La Lying Out Loud by what's her name? By Kobe Kaplan. And um Lying Out Loud is like a it's connected to the dove. But it's from a different story, different like point of view. So I don't know what you call that, but yeah, I'm really excited to read it. Um, this will be the third book I read from Co Co Kobe Kaplan. I love the Duff. I love the Duff. It had its moments, but I loved I love the Duff. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this mo this book. Just seeing this book. I'm really looking forward to reading this book and get it back into like the Duff world because I love the Duff. Um, hopefully it's good because I read uh I I've read a min midnight's Midnight Summer Nightmare. I think that's what it's called. The other um, Cody Kaplan's other book, other work, and I did not like that as much. Um, I think I did a review for it. You guys, I I didn't do a book review. I didn't do like a a video review, but I did a blog post about it on my blog. So if I could find it, I'll post it up below. I know I did. I know I did. So I'll put the review down below, and then hopefully I like this one better because it sounds a little better and. Um, hopefully the relationship that, the relationship that develops in this book is not like a midnight summer nightmare because I had a little problem with the relationship that develops, so yeah. And the last book I want to read in October is, um, 
what do you call it? A Shadow a Shadow Phase by Connie Gleeson. It's the fifth book, fifth and final book to the Vampire the Gardella's Vampire Chronicles. I think so. <laughs> I have read the first four books at the beginning of the year and I kinda stopped because my head was not just not getting to the book, so I stopped for a while, and then uh, now I want to get back because I want to. I want to finish the book. I want to finish what. I want to know what happened. I want to know who she ends up with, because God knows I do not like who she is with now right, right now. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.